Alright, box is done. It's pretty much, well, pretty much done. Uh, a, I like the way it sounds. It sounds pretty good, but I like, I just, I miss the bass, the lows. I miss the lows that just make your teeth want to fall out of your head. So, I'm making the port a little bit longer. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is extending this port down and bending it. I'm going to be basically putting another piece inside here and extending the port to about right here so it's about it's gonna be about 10 inches longer uh, so that'll bring me right to about 33 Hertz uh, and that should that should be get me right where I want it's about 38 Hertz right now so I want to get back down to like 32 33 all right here's a little look at the inside of the box with the port that I just added test fitted in there uh, it's not like secure at all it's just I just pushed it in for now. Uh, I'm gonna start fiberglassing the whole inside of the box, pretty much just as much as I can, and I'm gonna mainly fiberglass that port in. Uh, and it's gonna add actually about 11 and a half inches total to the port, so I'm gonna be right at around 32 hertz. So that's what I'm shooting for. So hopefully, it, hopefully it'll sound better and get them lows that I'm not looking for. All right, I got the port all fiberglassed in now. Put a couple layers down in a few spots. Up on top, just got all the gaps and stuff. I uh, don't think it's gonna be moving for a while. That's what it looks like, and hopefully it'll sound a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys on a tour again. Uh, the fiberglass is hardened now. I laid some body filler down. Uh, just some extra stuff that I had on my hand from doing this over here. Uh, just kind of sealing what I couldn't really get just decided to throw a bunch of body body filler on my fingers on my hand and well I had gloves on but just kind of spread it all around sealed up some of the gaps that there was left uh, I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of hard to see uh, I just used some liquid nails on that side it's really ugly, really nasty, but hopefully it's, I mean, it's going to be pretty strong. Hopefully it'll sound good. All right, I'm using this uh, 3M adhesive, general purpose. It's pretty, it's medium strength. It sticks very well. Um, I laid down my batting that I use. Uh, it's just like some foam. You can pick it up at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. It's just a thin layer of, just a thin layer of like foam. Um, it's pretty nice to put down underneath the fabric you're going to use. It gives it a little puffy feeling. I put it up underneath here, glued it all down, all the way around. Now, after this, I'm going to glue down the uh, suede, and then cut my hole and fit the sub, and then put all the interior back in. Okay, I got this fully wrapped now. As much as I want to be, all the uh, factory panels are going to be covering up to about here, so this should be good. Um, it looks pretty good. I know I'm already going to need to redo the suede on the rest of the pieces. This is a, I bought from an actual, you know, a fabric store, a name back fabric store, Joanne Fabrics. Uh, it's a little better material. This is, I got that at Walmart. Uh, it looks like shit compared to this stuff. This stuff's really nice. Uh, so I know I'm going to have to replace that, but I had a, I already had another plan for these pillars. Um, so I'm probably going to end up changing those a little bit. Same design, but a little different idea. But anyways, um, this is all done now. I got my cutout for the sub here. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to cut that out. Probably cut just across or slit in it and then, uh, try to fit the sub. looks like. Put the sub in. I did not put the gasket in. The gasket. Uh, with with the suede on it, it's a little bit too small for the gasket in some spots, just on the top mainly. I didn't like how it was fitting, so I just took it out, but I think it actually looks kind of nice like this because it offsets, I mean, the silver ring offsets the black. Kind of goes with the color scheme of the car, but this is what it looks like. Get away from it a little bit. It's kind of, that's what it looks like before I put all the seats and everything, all the interior back in. Put the seats back in. I didn't put the bottom seat in, but I put these seats in. 
uh, just for an idea of what it's going to look like. Put all the interior panels back in around here. These aren't really in how I'm going to want them to be. I'm going to secure these a little bit better, but I just kind of placed them in there. I just want to show you guys I have enough room also for the sub to still be playing uh, with the seats up. So it's got a good hands width from away from the seat, almost all the way up to the top. So it should still be able to play with the seats up, so that's good. But that's what it's looking like.